Of all Q games, Russian Pyramid clearly stands out because of its tight pockets. But how tight are they really? Let's find out. While corner pocket on the pool table fits two balls, in Pyramid it barely fits one. The accuracy required to pocket the ball cleanly is quite insane, but luckily there are some tricks. The most common one is trying to compress the cushion with a hard hit. This likely won't be possible on the pool table, but Pyramid Ball has twice the mass of a pool ball and enough energy to compress the cushion. Still, it isn't night and day. Missing the center of a pocket by one centimeter will result in a total miss. It is convenient to calculate the hit power in table lengths, meaning how many table lengths the cue ball will roll if hit with this power. While on pool the average shot power is around 2, in pyramid it's closer to 3. And don't forget that pyramid ball weights twice as much. Now let's look at some examples by top Russian players. There are several types of pyramid games. In this one only colored ball can be used as a cue ball which severely limits the number of possible shots in each position. This results in 30-60% accuracy and half of the shots being safeties, because it's just impossible to attack any pocket. While center pockets are slightly bigger than corner ones, they present whole new problems. Center pockets often reject fast-moving balls from sharp angles. They just wobble and fly out of it. And not to mention that anything sharper than 45 degree angle just won't go in. As you can see, this can lead to some frustration. Another pyramid specific technique is caroming the cue ball into the pocket. Pyramid is one of the few games that awards points for pocketing the cue ball. Most of these caroms use half ball hits, which follow 30 degree rule. After collision with the object ball, the cue ball will be deflected by about 30 degrees. The important thing here is that even if collision is not exactly half ball, the deflection angle is still close to 30 degrees. There are other ways to play these caroms, but as you can see, none of them guarantees result. In some types of pyramid games, shots must be called, but usually there is no need for it. Unlike pool, random balls don't usually fall into a pocket after the miss. This removes much of the luck element from the game and promotes harder hits. Still, some really amazing flukes do happen in Pyramid from time to time, but more often the ball just gets stuck in your pocket jaws. Some players take the game to the next level and try to play combination shots, which is absolutely insane. Kick shots can be considered somewhat possible, but only into the center pocket. But since the target is so tiny and the ball has to travel the whole table length to reach it, they are almost never used. Another interesting tactic is to try to draw the cue ball back into the pocket. Usually these are semi-safety shots when the player wants to leave the cue ball deep in the pocket jaws to make things difficult for the opponent. But with some luck the cue ball may go in, resulting in additional point. Still, most of the time players use simpler methods of pocketing the ball, and usually they work, but not in this video.